In this video, we will discuss how variable reluctance type stepper motor works. In this motor, torque is produced due to variation of reluctance. To understand this, first let us discuss the basic variable reluctance principle. Do you know, in this magnetic field, if we put a soft iron material, then in which direction it will rotate? Direction A or B? Here it rotates in anti-clockwise direction, that is direction B, such that flux will get a minimum reluctance path. There is a tendency of the rotor to align along the minimum reluctance position. While in the second case shown in the bottom figure, it will rotate in a clockwise direction and allow the flux to pass through it. If we shift the orientation of stator MMF, rotor aligned to attain this new minimum reluctance position. In this motor reluctance is varied by switching the phases sequentially, and hence it is called as variable reluctance motor. Figure shows the typical configuration of four-phase two-pole variable reluctance stepper motor. The stator is made of a single stack of steel laminations with the face windings wound around the stator poles. The two-pole rotor has a salient structure. It is made of a stack of steel laminations without any windings. The ferromagnetic material of the rotor has a tendency to align the rotor axis along the direction of the resultant air gap field. The motor is controlled by switching various phases. A four transistor switch is used to generate an electromagnet pole in the stator. The stator windings are energized by a DC source in such a sequence to generate a resultant rotating air gap field around the rotor in steps. The neutral is also brought out and connected to negative terminal of DC source. The sequence of switching is A, B, C, D, and then again A. In case of full step control, when we turn on phase A, stator phase is energized and flux is coming out of this. The rotor is aligned to this phase as shown. Now when we switched on phase B by closing switch S2, stator MMF shifts from phase A to B gradually, and rotor follows this stator MMF. The freewheeling diode will provide the path of current after turning off the switch. The gradual shift is due to smooth reduction of current in phase A, and increment of current in phase B. From the turning off phase A and turning on phase B, Rotor travels 90 degrees called full step size of the motor. Now, the closing of switch S3 will excite the phase C and rotor moves another 90 degrees. This way closing of switch sequentially will generate the rotational MMF and rotor rotates in anti-clockwise direction. To reduce the step size and avoid jerky operation of machine, micro-stepping is used. Let's analyze the half-stepping operation of stepper motor. In this operation, after turning on phase A, we turn on phase B without turning off phase A. Two phases are excited at the same time. The resultant MMF will be in between phase A and phase B. The rotor rotates at an angle of 45 degrees. In the next step, we keep phase B remain on and turning off phase A. So now resultant MMF will be along the stator B phase, and rotor travels another 45 degrees. After this, we turn on phase C without turning off phase B. This makes rotor to travel 45 degrees. Then phase C will be turned on and rotor travels another 45 degrees. The sequence of switching is phase A, then phases A and B, then phase B, then phases B and C, then phase C, then phases C and D, then phase D, 
then phases D and phase A, then phase A. This way full 360 degree rotation can be obtained by half stepping mode of operation. The step size of this sequence in comparison with the previous case is half and so it is called the half stepping operation. For half stepping clockwise rotation, sequence should be reversed. Now sequence of switching is phase A, then phases A and D, then phase D, then phases D and C, then phase C, then phases C and B, then phase B, then phases B and phase A, then phase A. This way full 360 degree clockwise rotation can be obtained by half stepping mode of operation. Now you will get an idea of how 4x2 pole variable reluctance motor will work. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. This will motivate us to create more videos. Thank you.